it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia talks and today we are on a walk we are staying in St. Brival's and this walk is just about six miles from there it's near Tinton and we parked in a car park in the park and that's near Tidenham Chase and that's on the B4228 and we have just walked 1.8 miles and we are now picking up Offa's Dyke. So this uh, bit here is where we would have come up if we'd done the walk from there. So just to have a look around really I uh, wanted to see where we would have come from. And there's a tree <laughs> across the path so I'm thinking yeah let's just turn back and go the way we are planning on going. So this is where we would have come if we had done a little bit more on that walk as well. I have already got very muddy shoes, as you can see. This walk was meant for, well, in the guidebook it said, not for the very young, not for the very old, not for those who are not good on their feet and you have to be prepared so you have to wear good walking shoes and bring drinks and stuff like that so yes I brought a drink as you can see on my rucksack but my daughter wanted to wear my wellies so I gave her my wellies and I wore my um, <clears throat> shoes my walking shoes but obviously they were not <laughs> they were not good enough for the um for the mud that we encountered we did bring our walking sticks they rested in the car yeah and i don't know whether you can see but my trousers are a little bit big i am actually wearing my husband's walking trousers because i couldn't find mine <laughs> i have got a hat on and scarf and my good coat so i'm all right there but yeah <laughs> We were prepared, but not so good as we thought. <laughs> but anyway, once we got to Offa's Dyke itself, as you can see, the path is really good. So it was a very wide path, very flat and well looked after. We have now arrived at the Devil's Pulpit, which was our aim of our walk. And we are looking out over Tintern Abbey. So there we go, that's the abbey there. We we visited this uh, last year and um, it's a ruin, but it's really nice. Um, but it was very cold, so <laughs> we were hiding inside uh, to try and, um, you know, avoid the cold wind. But yes, so this is a, a lookout to see that. And you know I always like to go to the edge. So these were some steps um, which... Are, sort of worn away a bit but yeah there we go so I wanted to go to the edge of this cliff just to get as near as I possibly could it would be a long drop down but anyway there we go that's the very very nice view we had there and actually we are in England and we were looking into Wales there so we are on the Gloucestershire side of England, looking into the Wye Valley, and on the other side of the River Wye, there's Tinton Abbey, and that's in the opposite bank of the Wye, River Wye, and that's in Monmouthshire in Wales. So that was quite interesting to actually look into another county there. So the Devil's Pulpit was actually where the Devil would preach from there to the monks and the occupants of Tinton Abbey below. But of course, do we believe this or not? <laughs> it's all very interesting anyway. So let's go and have a look at the Devil's Pulpit. So it's this is Offa's Dyke and now we go down to on the other side, down the steps and watch this. Keep watching because... I mean, that's just so typical me. Here we go. Yeah, I'm on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I fell down. I had all my technology to protect, so it wasn't so easy. But anyway, I made it. I made it up. I didn't hurt myself, so I was fine. <laughs> and this is the devil's pulpit. So it looks like a chair. It's a rock and there's a tree growing into it. Look at that. It's a yew tree. It looks very, very old. Um, and yeah, I mean, it looks like you can sort of, you know, a huge person could possibly sit on there or stand on there and preach to the monks from, um, 
from the Tintern Abbey. He was trying to persuade them to sort of lose their religion and things like that. So anyway, um, yeah, look at that. Look at that tree. Isn't it amazing how it grows into the rock there or coming out of the rock or whatever it does? <laughs> but yeah, it's... Um, I really enjoyed looking at the tree and it's a yew tree and I can't say how old it is but it must be very very old look at the little yeah yew trees I love yew trees I really like them and underneath yew trees there's no, nothing grows very much because the uh, pine needles or I don't know whether they're actually pine needles but the leaves of the yew tree are acidic so there's always sort of you know a clear area underneath the yew tree so here we go we are continuing our walk because obviously we have to sort of do a circular walk to get back to our car and as you can see the path here is really nice very flat very easy to walk on and we still have those lovely lovely views so we were quite impressed with that now you might think oh no she's doing this walk again and it's taking ages but of course I am filming this for uh, my uh, readers at the Wandelkrant and I am also writing a article about this so you'll be able to uh, read the article about our adventure oh look at this it's like a shrine to um, you know to the Virgin Mary look at that lovely we've seen this before actually in a, quite a few episodes ago we saw the trees with the money in so that was quite interesting and there we are we're looking over into Wales again and yeah like I said this is a special video for my readers of the Wandel Crown so they can read along with uh, my adventures in that article that I wrote so I hope you enjoy this walk and let's keep going because a little bit further on there's another one of those lovely viewpoints that look out into that uh, Y Valley and we met two men there who were having, well they were much better prepared, they had tea, they had rucksacks, they had their map, I mean I have my map but I had this um, OS thing on, map on my phone and it was draining the battery <laughs> so there. But anyway, yes, I had the map in the rucksack, but they had their map in a plastic thing and they were all prepared. And they were like, oh yes, isn't this a wonderful view, this devil's pulpit? And I said, yes, it's five minutes down back that way. <laughs> so they were in the wrong place. So they said, oh, okay. So they quickly drank up their tea and continued their walk. <laughs> I said, yeah, you'll recognize it when you get there. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway. So we kept on walking and very slowly um, we sort of, I don't know, did we go down or up? We were on this sort of mountain side and we kept seeing all the lovely views down below. I would really like to come and see this place in the summer. It must be lovely, although I do wonder whether we would have the same view over the Y Valley um, when we were looking at Tintern Abbey, but that's a thing to explore, of course. So yes, I would love to see this in the luscious green, but as it is winter still, here we are, our muddy shoes. <laughs> at this point, the water had drained into my shoes and my feet were wet. They weren't cold, I have to admit. I had quite hot feet, but they were wet. So, yeah, it was good that I would <laughs> get to the car to change my shoes. Anyway, yeah, so here we are. This is one of the pictures um, that I took as well for the article. And this is the second location where we could see the Tintern Abbey. And this is us into the woods more now because we have taken the route to go back to the car. I have to say we did not encounter anybody else apart from those two men walking. Uh, it was a weekday, um, but I suppose this isn't the most friendly uh, walking season uh, with all the mud. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know whether this is a very popular walk at all, but 
like I said, we only met two people and we were quite happy to uh, walk along and, um, you know, see where it took us. Um, yes, make sure that in locations like this, you always have a map. I bought my map um, the same morning from a local shop, the OS map of the area, because generally that's what I do whenever we go somewhere and I don't have the map. Um, there's no point in going to your own local WH uh, Smith or a shop to get the OS map of the area that you're going to because they might not have it or you might need to order it. So what I generally do is I go to location and find a shop and buy it there because they will always have the local maps and that's always a great help. But as I said, the map was in the rucksack <laughs> and I was using the OS app on my phone but as I was filming as well, it did take a lot of uh, battery. So even though this new technology is all very well, it's always handy to have your paper map with you. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this walk. We were um, quite near the car now and I am going to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.